Um, I have a brief statement I'd like to make on behalf of the family uh, in light of the verdict to guilty to murder uh, that will be received at Northampton Crown Court this afternoon. Stephen was an important link in our family and his murder on the 25th of October last year has left our family feeling shattered and broken forever. Stephen was such a generous and helpful person who was always happy to help out his family in any way he could. He would always put the needs of others ahead of himself. His younger siblings still ask where he is on a daily basis, but all we can do is take them to the cemetery. A gaping hole has been left in our family. Today, nine months since our lives were turned upside down, we have finally received justice for Stephen. It will never bring him back. We are grateful to the jury for the diligence and patience they have demonstrated throughout the trial in reaching their verdict. We would also like to take this opportunity to thank the police for conducting a thorough investigation and the compassion they have shown us throughout this difficult time. Thank you. We welcome the verdict of the court today. Stephen lost his life in an alcohol-fueled argument that got out of control. Once again, we are dealing with the death of a person in a location where he should have been safe. This is a killing that is hard to comprehend. Following the argument and initial injury, Danny Beaumont chose to continue to use a knife, stabbing Stephen for a second time rather than seeking to help his friend by calling for medical assistance. The consequences of what he did are absolutely devastating. Stephen's family, partner and three young children have been left totally devastated by what has happened. They are struggling to come to terms with the loss of Stephen at the hand of a person who he called his friend. The part that drink and drugs played in this tragic incident is hard to quantify, but it is a factor and should serve as a warning to all those who choose to take drugs and alcohol. Our thoughts and condolences are with Stephen's family and his three children at this time.